Hello. The first application we're going to see for an analog multiplier is the synthesis or implementation of mathematical operations. As we mentioned before, uh, multiplication, squaring, division, and square root operations. The multiplication operation will be the simplest one to implement uh, because this is, after all, an analog multiplier. And so it just consists of connecting the multiplier uh, with the two inputs and the output will be proportional to the product of the inputs. So the products of the inputs times the scaling factor k, which is going to be dependent on the particular uh, configuration of the multiplier. Squaring a signal, uh, or computing the square of a signal, uh, is simply achieved by applying the input signal, the same input signal, to both inputs. And so I've represented it here, where Vx is applied to the two input signals of the multiplier, and in that case, the output will be proportional to uh, the product of the input signal times itself, or the input signal Vx squared. In terms of division, uh, there are different possible configurations, and if you look at the data sheet for an analog multiplier, uh, it may provide some of the, the preferred configuration for a division, but this is a common configuration uh, where we can see two signals are being applied, a numerator and a denominator. And notice that in the case of division and square root, uh, the analog multiplier is now connected in the uh, negative feedback path of an op-amp circuit. And so my numerator is being applied in this case to the inverting input terminal, the resistor R. My denominator voltage is being applied to the analog multiplier, which is connected in the feedback path uh, of my op-amp. And uh, the output of that multiplier is being fed back into the negative input terminal, also through resistor R. And there is a compensation resistor connected to the, uh, the positive input terminal. And so in this case, uh, we can see that what I've labeled as V out prime, the output of the analog multiplier, is going to be uh, equal to the multiplication of V out times the denominator of voltage times a proportionality constant. So K times V out times VD, which will be, as we shall see, the denominator of voltage. Uh, I can also keep analyzing the circuit by applying Kirchhoff current law and saying the sum of the currents uh, entering a particular node is equal to zero. And so uh, into the node that is connected to the inverting input terminal of my op-amp, I have currents I1 and I2 entering that node. And if I assume an ideal op-amp, no current should be going into the negative input terminal of that op-amp. And so I can say that uh, the sum of I1 plus I2 must be equal to zero. And if I express I1 and I2 in terms of uh, the numerator voltage and V out prime using Ohm's law, I can rewrite this equation as Vn over R, since uh, the negative input terminal is at virtual ground, plus V out prime over R being equal to zero. I can eliminate the, the R's, multiply both sides of the equation times R, and solve for uh, Vn, and I have that Vn is equal to negative V out prime, or V out prime being equals to negative Vn. Perhaps that's a better way of expressing it. And now I can go back to my original equation and try to solve for V out of my circuit. And I have that V out is going to be equal to uh, V out prime divided by K times VD. As this V out prime is equal to negative VN, I can rewrite this as negative 1 over K times VN over VD. And so my output voltage will be proportional to um, the division or the ratio between the two input signals, Vn and Vd. So the circuit performs the mathematical operation of division, and the square root operation is similar, uh, similar connection to the division, except notice that now I don't apply a denominator voltage, 
uh, but rather the output of my op-amp is fed to both inputs of my analog multiplier. And so I can apply uh, the same procedure to come up with an expression for V out. In other words, I can say my V out prime is going to be proportional to the product of the two input signals of the analog uh, multiplier, which in this case is just V out squared. So K times V out squared. Again, I have that the sum of these two input currents, I1 and I2, must be equal to zero. Which implies that Vn over R plus V out prime over R is equal to zero. Or, in other words, that V out prime is equal to negative Vn. And then I have, um, I can solve for my output voltage from the original equation. I have a V out is equal to the square root of uh, V out prime divided by K. Or, since V out prime is equal to negative Vn, I will have this is equal to the square root of negative Vn divided by K or negative 1 over k times vn. So in other words, the output is proportional to the square root of, in this case, negative vn. Finally, there are some design considerations that we need to keep in mind, especially when we are designing uh, the division and square root circuits. And those are basically to ensure that the op-amp is operating in the linear region at all times, and also ensure that the negative feedback loop is never broken. Um, an example of how this is taken into consideration could be if we look at the data sheet for the AD534, it has in the application notes, among other things, uh, the square root connection, and you can see how they've added a resistor and a diode at the output of the op-amp, essentially to ensure that these two conditions are met. So I definitely recommend that you go and take a look at that data sheet.